A reality check tonight. You know, it's pretty darn lousy when your stuff gets lost in the mail. It certainly stinks for you and me, but for the Postal Service, it may actually be a good thing. The Post Office makes millions selling our stuff that they lose. Matt Gephardt from our sister station, Utah, traveled the country tracking lost packages. This is the Mail Recovery Center outside of Atlanta, Georgia. Think of it as the Postal Service's lost and found where they try to reconnect you with your lost stuff. But here's the thing. Anytime they don't find the rightful owner, within a couple of months, the post office gets to sell your stuff that they lost and they pocket the profits. I'm rolling. And while investigating, we were quickly confronted by the reality this is a facility that some do not want you to know about. Oh no, you can't take pictures here. Let's back up. Well, I'm not mad, I'm sad. Angela Erickson lives in Axtell, Utah, where she spends much of her free time at her sewing machine. Angela spent the better part of last year lovingly sewing two quilts. This is quilt number one. This one for her uncle, this one for her dad. And she shipped them off to Illinois just in time for Christmas. They did not make it. I can't remake these quilts. Angela says her local postmaster gave her the devastating news. Her package has been declared dead. Best case scenario, it is on its way to the mail recovery center where most of what goes in never makes it home. They don't realize how much time goes into these and to see that it's lost and they may never see it is really hard. I'm looking for an elephant blanket. The Postal Service works with a private company called GovDeals, which manages the online auctions, selling off thousands of items. So here's some coats. We asked GovDeals about the auctions. They referred us to the Postal Service. And when we pressed the Postal Service for specifics on how much they sell and make on those auctions, filling out an official public records request, we found ourselves stonewalled. Quote, the information requested is being withheld in its entirety, a spokesperson wrote, saying that they don't want to give away trade secrets. Unsatisfied, we traveled to Georgia, looking for answers and hoping to find Angela's quilts. We began at the GovDeals warehouse where you are forced to make an appointment to inspect the merchandise. I made an appointment and walked in the front door. Good morning, how are you? First, rules. You're not allowed to have no phone activity whatsoever. Like you have to have your phone in your pocket. Okay. Um, because uh, we've had problems in the past where people try to take pictures or video the facility and that's against um, their GovDeals orders. All right, I had to turn my camera off so I can't show you exactly what I saw, but I can tell you and I can use these photos from GovDeal's own website to help. It was a massive warehouse with bidders meandering among the 287 shipping boxes of lots actively being auctioned off. An employee told me the rest of the warehouse was off limits, filled with more of your stuff that is auctioned off every two weeks. And it is all stuff they get from the Postal Service. Hey, yeah, sure, why not? The GovDeals facility backs right up to the mail recovery center, so we made our way over there. We found it securely guarded. Fences, barbed wire, lots of no trespassing signs. And a guard who jumped out of the front door when he saw us approaching. I was wearing a microphone which recorded our conversation. I'm from Salt Lake City, I'm a reporter. Without checking, he told me that nobody was available. Then he told me I was forbidden from filming the facility, even from the public street out front. No, you can't take pictures here. It's off limits. Well, we can step off the property and do it, though. No, 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 don't take pictures. It's totally off limits. No one's supposed to know we're here. No one's supposed to know you're here? We found you online. So do I, but... Well, we're going to. It could be dangerous. Could be dangerous? Yeah, for our safety. What, why is that? Can't tell you anymore. Well, we're gonna we're gonna step outside the gates and take some pictures. While doing just that, well, what are you reporting on? The U.S. Postal Service profits off of our lost mail. The police showed up. 
Do you have your IDs? An officer seized my driver license along with my photographers. We were detained for about 20 minutes while the officer went into the mail recovery center. I really hope if they arrest somebody, they arrest you. And they leave. <laughs> and just leave you alone. And then another 10 or so as he sat in his car. Remember that time we got to go to Atlanta yeah, and get detained? Before he allowed us to leave. Thank you. Thank you, sir. But while the U.S. Postal Service seems to be going out of its way to avoid answering reporters' questions, they were forced to answer when asked by the U.S. Inspector General. In this scathing 2015 report, the Postal Service Inspector General found the Mail Recovery Center, quote, did not effectively handle customer inquiries or manage undeliverable items it received. In fiscal year 2014, of the 88 million items that came through the door, a mere 2.5 million ever made it home. That is less than 3%. And what the Postal Service sold off gained it $11 million that year. The report also said the Postal Service does a lousy job of helping customers who have lost their stuff file inquiries. I don't think people realize that our missing packages can be auctioned off. People like Angela. That, that's infuriating, but I don't think a lot of people know. I don't think that you know about it until you've lost a package and you try to uncover the missing mail facility, and there's only one, and it's in Atlanta, Georgia, 1,600 miles from here. Well, that was Matt Gephardt reporting. It's worth noting that competitors FedEx and UPS do also sell lost items for profit. Our sister station asked both companies how much they lost and how much they make from auctions, but neither would answer.